Hello folks and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Tonight we're going to be doing a paint for another painter, another lure painter, uh, Amy over at Crank Honey Custom Baits. So if you hadn't picked her up, please go pick Amy up. She's a great painter. Uh, we're going to be doing a whopper plopper and we're going to be using several different techniques on this bait. So let's just jump in there feet first and get her done. We'll be using uh, Createx Wicked Aluminum, Createx Opaque Black, uh, a Deco Art Metallic Purple called Amethyst. Be using Gunmetal Gray Glitter, and then we're going to introduce something new to y'all later that I found out from a fellow painter. So let's just jump on in here and get her done. <clears throat> so we're going to take our brushed aluminum, we're going to put it down here in a cup, then we're going to add one drop of the Deco Arctic uh, Amethyst to it. I just want to turn it a little bit different color. That's all I want to do, kind of a violet. pretty it looks like a metallic violet see there got our old brush all cleaned up and about 20 drops of that probably about all we're gonna want on this bait so we're gonna Get everything all set up here and we'll start and we're going to use a clear bait. This is a non-primed bait because I got some different things that I want to do here. So we're going to go from the lateral line down and we're going to do the whole belly. It'll take us a little time to do that but that's alright we ain't got nothing but time. I don't think there's no way we're getting out of here alive. So, well, maybe today. Maybe today, but in the end, no. So we're just going to start. Miss that up there, and then we'll heat set it, and we'll move on. that gill too up on the bottom of that head. Okay. You can see that in there. You'll be able to see it a whole lot more once we start epoxy in this bait. You can barely see it, can't you? Barely. But you can see it. It shimmers. Yeah. Yeah, once it, we start on the epoxy, it'll it'll come on out and be just fine. Cause we got several things we're gonna do here, so let's just make it happen. Mm -hmm.
folks, what I've done here is I painted one that is primed and I painted one that's not primed. And y'all gonna tell me which one you like the best when we're all said and done. And uh, Amy will get to pick which one she wants. And the other one will either go in my tackle box or it'll go to a show somewhere. Or Melissa might give it away, I don't know. <laughs> so, she's the boss. Okay, I run just a few little bitty lines right here. Heat set those real right quick and do that deal plate up there. Okay. Good thing I got another piece right here, ain't it? Do you need it? I'll throw it back at you. No. You throw enough at me as it is. Enough time. Okay. We got that out of our hair now. Let's clean our brush. And we'll move on to our black. Okay. Opaque black. I can't not hold nothing today. <clears throat> Don't understand why. I guess it's just age. <coughs> and no, I'm not having a Super Bowl party. Doing this freehand today.
I am still eating breakfast, folks. That's gross. Terrible. Heartburn. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, let's heat set that block. Okay, folks, we'll introduce you to Patrick's Discovery over there at uh, Quick Response Fishing. He does some painting videos and fishing videos. Great channel. If you're not subscribed to him, go subscribe. He told Ron about this stuff called Space Dust, which is an acrylic airbrush metallic color shift or a chameleon paint and uh, Ron told me so Ron is New Hope Fishing Lures you gotta go check his channel out he's just a few from a hundred subscribers now so please go subscribe to him called Space Dust pretty cool stuff so we're gonna use some of this Space Dust on this bait <clears throat> and our first one what we're gonna use is gonna be Electric blue and intense violet. Intense violet, not just intense violet. Not just violet. No, intense violet. Are you sure? Yes. It lives in tents. It does. It's a chameleon. You won't ever see it, lady. Oh, gotcha. So let's just uh. Get a little bit of that on there. I'm going to drift it up on there. And mostly what that means is it's a color shift paint, folks. Okay, it is an airbrush ready paint. means all you gotta do is uh, shake it up and put it in your brush and go. So. There we go. What do you think about that, Melissa? It was shimmery. Pretty cool stuff. I do like it. Yeah, me too. Pretty nice. So on the belly of that, I'll heat set that right quick. We're going to try a different one. And uh, we put just that little bit of mixed paint on the belly. Other than that, it's clear. And we're going to try and use a green, blue, violet. And see what happens on the belly. What's it hurt to try? I mean, it's just a whopper plopper. So... We'll heat set this really good, and then we'll move on. If I can find my blow dryer. Okay. <laughs> Not necessary. Most usually, if it's me, it's necessary. Okay. We'll see what happens here. We'll experiment for everybody else. How about that, Melissa? Okay. You can certainly see it shifting green. Look. Did you see it? Green? Yep. It's shifting green violet. Let's heat set that and put another coat on it and call that good. That's really cool. Oh, 
Well, that's just cooler and two biscuits and some gravy, folks. You can really see the green shift in the bottom there. I miss biscuits. You had them this morning, you just didn't eat them. Yeah, I didn't want them. They didn't look very good to me. Don't know why I felt that way, but they just didn't look right to me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Guess we'll stick some eyes on this here young fella. And yeah, we'll put some, I had to get some more epoxy. I'm out of epoxy over here. Good thing I got some behind me. Gosh, it seems like we had a whole bunch of epoxy. Yeah, we've got a lot of baits we've got painted up. Mm -hmm. And ready for the gun show. Bait show. gun show to the pop gun show. <laughs> you lose all your musculars. Can you see it shifting there pretty good now? Into that green? Mm -hmm. That dude's gonna look pretty spiffy up in the water, I'm telling you. Go put some red eyes on it. Imagine that. Can't imagine that. They look good on there. Yeah, they do. It brings out his eyes. His eyes and his watermark. His what? What kind of mark? His watermark. What's a watermark? You know that thing that you keep forgetting? Uh, can I blame that on Ron? Sure. Okay. He distracted me from my mission. Right. Cool. Oh, what if I don't have no water out here? You spit. I'll be in trouble again, won't I? Yep. I tell you folks, I just sometimes can't win for losing. Nope. Around this here ugly dog shop. <clears throat> but we painted it two ways, so we wanted to just show y'all and see what y'all thought about, about it, and then we'll go from there. They changed the lid. It used to be jello. Now it's gray. I'm taking this back. Probably because they can't get supplies like we are limited to supplies. Oh man. It's really getting kind of funny I'm telling you. It's a good thing we got enough lures. If we have to, we can make it done, baby. Not as much as you've been painting, you don't. I ain't been painting that much. Got here all damn afternoon yesterday and only painted two lures. Wonder what I was doing. I don't know, I was sitting there.
I think I was mostly talking to my buddies. We do that a lot. <clears throat> They're bad influence. I think you need to stop doing that. That's what they all keep telling me. About me? That I'm a bad influence. Oh, that I believe. There you go, ugly dog blues. I don't see it where. Just joking. <laughs> I'll heat set that and then we'll pull the tape off the tail and uh except for this one I'm gonna use peacock glitter in because of it's got the green. You can really see that shift, can't you? Yeah, now you can. Yeah. Very pretty. Good job, Melissa. Not me. I'd say you the man, but you'd argue with me. I would. And you know, many times as I've been in Hobby Lobby in that airbrush section, I've never seen that stuff. Yeah, I, I just want to say thank you to Patrick. He discovered it. I don't know how much I'll use it, but you know what? It's very pretty. All the credit goes to Patrick. And then it goes to Ron? Well, let's say 70-30 because Ron told me about it. So, yeah, it's right there beside the airbrush accessories and I never noticed it. And that's what I was saying earlier, probably because I was on the mission and I'm an in and out. I go in and get what I need and I get out. I don't. Yeah, but I'm not. I've been through that section tooth and nail looking for stuff and I I've never like noticed shop. it. I just wonder if it's something new. I've seen it in there, honey. But I've never thought about it. I'm going to get me some model car paint that's airbrush ready and paint some lures with it too. Mm, that'll be fun. Yeah, they got some really pretty colors. I actually looked yesterday while you were shopping at some of them. And they're little bottles like these in this space dust and they're not that expensive. A couple of bucks a piece. How much was that? This was $24.99. Are you crazy? Probably. Oh, okay. But Jen said she'd pay for it. Right. Ron told me to just go ahead and get it and Jen will pay for it. So. So on this one, I am not going to put no red on the tail. On the. Fin. The prop. Excuse me. I'm getting argued with from across the room and it's getting my train of thought off and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it for sure. Well that's a problem right there. You think you have a whole train driving that thought. I don't have a thought anymore. Honey. It's more like Thomas the train going, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> Would you like to catch my knife? <laughs> uh, we joke along around a lot folks but we we have a pretty decent relationship. Yeah. <clears throat> You say so. She barks and I don't listen. That's about right. But my bark's worse than my bite. So. No, 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 no. Batman to the rescue. This one's going to be pretty cool. I need to order some more whopper ploppers and paint them because they do sell good at the shows for all you other guys out there. Just took me a little while to figure out how to paint them without freezing the props up on them and what have you. So.
kind of like that, honey. Okay, folks, we got her all rigged up here and got our wire on it and uh, got a watermark on it this time so I don't get in trouble again. Uh, got her wire to separate it. On the prop to hang it with, we're going to use a peacock, silver peacock glitter, extra fine in this. We don't need a whole lot of it. It's just going to make it pop a little bit more. Let's stir our epoxy up. We'll stick it on there and see what we got. Then we'll do a comparison of the two. Remember, one was primed and one wasn't. So everybody can vote. Amy can pick whichever one she wants. And we'll give the other one away on our 1100 subscriber giveaway. That'll be the prize. Sound good to you? Sure. all mixed up. I guess I get that out of my way now, huh? Sorry, folks. Sometimes a man just needs a little extra help. <laughs> there you go, babe. That is beautiful. Space dust, folks. Space dust. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, there we go. Folks, if you'd like to order any of our lures, just send us an email to uglydoglures at gmail.com and we can exchange some pictures back and forth or whatever we need to do. I hope everybody has a very blessed week and we'll catch you later.